It is Monday the 11th of April 2022 and I've done it again, I've finished another book and today is publication day. Um, this book is of course on the subject of Trolls 3, Otsot 3, that's its code name, that's the code name it's gone by um, for the last year and a half, two-ish years or so when I've been referring to it. Not its actual title of course, um, I'm going to do the title reveal and the cover reveal in a bit. Um, I'm going to save that for a few minutes' time. Um, but the, the actual title of the book isn't all that much different to the codename and to the titles of the previous books. I tend to have quite plain titles for sequels, at, at least in the On the Subject of Trolls series. I don't, I don't try and do very imaginative things. Um, I'll get to the, uh, the title reveal and the cover reveal and the reveal of the titles of the, uh, the names of the stories within the book in a few minutes. As is always the case with these release day, publication day videos, I don't actually have a copy of the book itself here with me yet that I can hold up and, and show you. Um, so when it comes to the actual cover reveal, I'm just going to have to put a, a picture of the cover on the screen just there, as I, as I usually do. Before I get to the title reveal and the cover reveal, I just want to talk a bit about how this book came to be for a few minutes first. Um, this book as I have said many times in um, some previous videos, in some blog posts, this book has... Well, firstly, it's taken way longer to do than I expected it to. Um, I completely expected to finish this book sometime last year in, what, 2021. Um, in fact, I expected to finish it quite early in 2021. I thought I was going to finish this book, I think, quite frankly, about a year ago. Um, I, I at one point thought that was not entirely unreasonable um, of a time to finish this book. Um, because with the second book in the series, On the Subject of Trolls 2, it felt like that one went really quickly and was really easy to do, really, really quick and easy to do. Um, and so I thought the subsequent one was also going to be um, quite easy to do, particularly since I think at the time that I published the second book, I think I did have, I don't, I don't know if I had any of the stories in the third book finished, but I think I had um, at least two of them in a pretty good shape, like not, you know, finished and polished, but, you know, I think most of them had been written and they were in, in a pretty good shape. There wasn't much left to do on them. Um, so I, I think I was just thinking, well, there's only three stories left to write. It, that's, it's not that much, you know, these aren't long books. So I didn't think it was going to take very long to do. And so I thought it was around about, I think maybe, you know, April, May, June time last year that I was going to finish this book. It's ended up being way, way longer than that. Um, now, I could, I, could, I could probably spend two hours in a video um, rambling on about why I think that is. Um, I've had many hypotheses over that time. Why, this book seems to be taking a long time. Why is it taking such a long time? Um, I'm not sure I entirely know the right answer yet, the, the real answer yet. Um, but I, I, you know, so I, I could spend a long time uh, going over it. And I, I might make another video where I just go into all the, the peculiarities about this book, all the things that I think maybe made it take um, a bit longer than, than previous books. I mean, I say that this book seemed like it was more difficult to finish, it was that it was harder to make progress on this book. I was, just a few minutes ago, watching the release video I did for the previous book, for Otsot 2, um, just to check what sort of things do I, it's been so long since I've made one of these videos, what sort of things do I say? Is there anything that I normally say that otherwise I'm going to forget? Um, and in that video, I also complained about how um, Otsot 2 seemed to take an unusually long time. So perhaps my memory of Otsot 2 being quite an easy book to do is incorrect. Um, and perhaps Otso 3 wasn't, wasn't so unusually difficult after all. Um, one of the things that certainly contributed to this book taking longer is that this is just a longer book. Um, normally the Otso books, I say normally, I mean there's only been three, but um, the previous two Otso books were around uh, 20,000 words, I think, yes, to about 20-ish thousand words, maybe a little bit longer, about 22,000 words each. Not that long at all, they're not long books. Um, they're about 100 pages long. This one um, is about 32,000 words, so it's about half as long again. 
Um, and it's about, I think it's something like 143 pages. I think that's the exact number long. So it is a bit longer than the previous ones. And obviously longer books take longer to do, uh, longer to, to actually write and edit and so on. So that's certainly part of it. But I think there are other uh, aspects of aspects of the book that meant that it took longer than I was expecting it um, to, to, to take. Um, one of which, and I, I shouldn't go into this because this is me going on a tangent, but um, one of which is possibly just, I think the book contains a certain kind of dialogue that is very difficult to write, at least very difficult for me to write. And I would describe that as dialogue where characters have to say things that are very naturalistic, but the, the dialogue itself, the conversation itself, has to perform a certain function in the story. There has to be a certain outcome to the dialogue. So you have this combination of it being naturalistic and having a very specific target. I think this kind of dialogue, while I like writing it, I think it's very, I think I find it quite difficult. It takes me a long time. Sometimes I get it wrong and it's like, oh, that's, I know I need to change that. That's not right. And that, that takes a while. So I, that, that's possibly one reason. Um, but uh, as I say, I don't entirely know why this, this book has taken so much longer, if indeed it has taken so much longer proportionally than the other books. Um, and it's something I might go into uh, later. Um, but um, in addition to this book, uh, well, as I say, this book is a bit longer um, than the previous ones. It does, however, have the same number of stories. This book contains five short stories. They're still short stories. Um, uh, just like the previous ones do. That's, that's the standard for the On the Subject of books. It's always five short stories. Um, these stories vary in length quite drastically. Um, the longest story by far is the fourth one, which is also the one I think that I finished last. Um, and that's, that, again, that's partly why it took so long to do. The longest one is the, the fourth one. I don't think it has a, a, any stories in it that are quite as short as some of the ones in the previous books, but there are, there are nevertheless some that are, you know, pretty short compared to the, um, the average. Um, okay, that's a bit about how this book came to be. It's now time for the actual title reveal of the third book in the series. And as I say, it's not very interesting. Um, I don't go for terribly imaginative um, titles for the sequels to On the Subject of Trolls. Um, you know, it's, it's only one step above just putting a number on the end. The title of the third book in the On the Subject of Trolls series is quite simply yet more On the Subject of Trolls. Um, we had the first one was On the Subject of Trolls, then it was more On the Subject of Trolls, and now it's yet more On the Subject of Trolls. Um, no idea what I'm going to do for a, a fourth book. That's, a, that's an, entirely, um, uh, an entirely separate question. Um, no idea what I'm going to do for that. But the, the third one is quite simply yet more on the subject of trolls. And now it's time for the cover reveal of yet more on the subject of trolls. Here it is. Editing me will put the image of the cover in on the screen just there. Um, I'll go into a bit more about what this cover actually shows um, when I talk a bit about the, the titles of the stories in this book. Um, but I suppose most notable about this cover. Um, so the first On the Subject of Trolls book, the cover just had a single troll on it, and the troll was facing away from, uh, you know, the, the viewer, as it were, um, which was a very deliberate choice because that was representative of um, the anonymity of, of, of internet trolls. Um, the second um, On the Subject of Trolls book had um, a picture, that this time, of a very specific troll, and that was of Clund the Obstructive, but we were very, very far away. Clund was very small um, on the cover. Um, and again, re representing this, this like, kind of distance um, that internet trolls have. Not that Clund is specifically an internet troll. Um, that's something else I'll go into more, maybe later, maybe in another video, who knows. Um, Clund, Clund was more of a real-life troll. Um, but nevertheless, this kind of remoteness that a lot of um, trolling um, exhibits um, was represented by that. This um, book cover has many trolls on it, which is um, a new thing. Um, and, uh, and, and it is, again, um, a, a, a depicting very specific trolls from the story. It's depicting trolls from the second story um, in, uh, in the book. So there's been somewhat of a progression in the covers from like single unidentifiable troll, single identifiable troll to now many identifiable trolls. 
Um, and this, I suppose, really is the first time we've seen many trolls um, up close next to each other. Let's now get on to the titles of the actual stories in the book and, as I like to call it, the class of 2020 tr 2022 of the trolls in um, this book. So, um, the titles of the five short stories in this book are, the first one is Snong the Priggish, the second one is The Parliament, the third one is Pung the Fanatical, the fourth one is just called Win. Now, it is, the title in the book is, uh, it's just the old English letter Win, which is a, I think I'll go into another video. Um, this is, uh, in, in Old English, there were more letters, or there are additional letters in the English alphabet that we don't have now. One of them is the letter Win, um, which sort of served the same function as the letter W does in, in modern English. Um, the title of that story is just that letter, Win, that Old English letter, but it does have in brackets underneath it W-Y-N-N -N for the pronunciation. But then when it refers to that throughout the story, it, it only uses the letter Win, so <laughs> the story only gives you the pronunciation once at the beginning. Um, and then the fifth story um, in the book is Sired the Silent. Some of these titles follow that same uh, title scheme um, of name of the troll, the, and then some kind of adjective that describes them. And then some of the titles deviate from that. So Snong the Priggish. Snong is obviously a troll name. It's, it's got that real troll name. It's that Snong. Um, such a troll name. That's obviously following the usual one. The Parliament. Um, obviously is deviating from that. The most similar um, title that we've seen before to the Parliament is, of course, The Company from the second book. Um, the third one, Pung the Fanatical, that's fairly usual. Um, the fourth one, Win, um, that's, a, that's a, a, an unusual one. And then the fifth one, Sirad the Silent, that's not named after the troll in the story, that's named after the other main character in that story. Um, so let's go through the, uh, the class of 2022 of trolls that we've got. Um, in the first story, the troll is called Snom. Um, in the second story, um, there are many trolls. We're dealing with another group of trolls in the second story. And the main troll, there's only one named troll in that story, and he is called Pult. Um, so Snom and Pult, and then Pung from the third story. The fourth story, um, I'll, I'll reveal it. This isn't much of a spoiler, I'll reveal it to you now. Um, no, no, it is a spoiler. No, I, no I, I won't tell you what the name of the troll is in that story. Um, yeah, yeah, that, I, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I caught myself doing that. So I won't tell you who that troll is, uh, what that troll's name is. Um, but uh, in the fifth story, I can tell you this one, the troll is called Flop, which is just a delightful troll's name. So um, there are five trolls, um, but I won't reveal one of them. They'll just reveal four. So the four that we know are Snong, um, Pult, Pung, and Flop delightfully disgusting troll names. Um, so that's the, uh, the class of 2022 trolls. Um, also worth pointing out, something quite interesting I think about this book, um, is that, so in previous books, there's been allusions to magic and there's been allusions to witches. And even indeed in the first book, we actually meet a witch in uh, Gogog the Anonymous, um, which if I remember correctly, I don't think that witch, I don't think, She's given a name. Um, I can't, can't remember, it's been so, so long since I've, uh, well, it's not been long since I've looked at that book, but I, it's been long since I've looked thoroughly through that story. Um, but I, I don't think any witches are named so far in the stories. In this book, we do start to get names of witches, which is important um, for later books. Um, and, and in fact, we actually get a lot of uh, witches' names um, in this book. I, I can't remember all of I should have written them down, I can't remember all of them. But um, we have names like uh, Glomoth, um, Guta, Gorwa, um, oh, Grella, that's, that's one of my, Grella is one of my favourite ones. Um, Grella has a, not a main part, but a sort of, you know, main side part in one of the stories. Uh, so we start to get um, a lot of names of witches um, in uh, these stories, which, if you've read the first two books, you'll have probably have picked up that witches play a kind of important role in, in the world on the subject of trolls. They, they get up to a lot of stuff, they do a lot of things. 
Um, but the, the stories themselves aren't about them, they're just sort of referred to indirectly um, in a few cases. So we also have a, a class of 2022, sort of, of witches as well. Um, but I, I won't go through all the names because it's, it's fun to, to see them as they appear through the book. So on the subject of Trolls 3, with its actual title of Yet More on the Subject of Trolls, has been published. It is now available. I'll put the link to where you can buy the book uh, on Amazon down in the description below and probably in the comments as well and probably all across my social media um, profiles and my website so it should be easy to find um, where you can actually go and buy the book. Um, I think this is probably, possibly, my favourite book that I've done so far. Now, I, th I think I say that about every book that I release, and I don't know if this is just a, like, you know, whichever one is the most recent one ends up being my favourite one. Um, and, you know, maybe they are actually all sort of, you know, pretty much alike. Um, but I, this is certainly my favourite one. There's, there's um, a lot of stuff in it that I really like. Um, there's a, there's um, quite a few sort of funny moments, quite a few interesting ideas. So I really, really like this book. Um, as I say, the links to where you can find it um, online are down below and, and all over the place. I've previously said that I have a huge collection of ideas for stories for the On the Subject of Trolls series, and that I could probably write in total something like four or five books um, in this series. But while with the first three On the Subject of Trolls books, I wrote them one after another, you know, once I finished one book, I then immediately moved on to trying to finish the next book. With um, On the Subject of Trolls 4, and ultimately 5, um, that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm not going to immediately move on to writing Otsot 4. Um, that's, not, that's probably not going to be the next book that comes out. I'm actually going to take um, a bit of a break from the On the Subject of Trolls series. Um, and that's because um, I've been writing this series, not exclusively, but quite intensively, um, for the last three years or so. Um, and I'd really like to write some other kinds of things um, for a bit. Um, do some more, you know, I, I consider myself both a science fiction and fantasy author. And of course, Atlantis was science fiction. Um, and I've been doing almost exclusively fantasy for the last three years or so. So I'd like to um, branch out, do a few more other things. You know, there's, there's other projects, other projects that I was working on last year and, and, and a bit this year as well. I'd like to do some more of those, experiment uh, a bit more with that sort of thing. Um, and on the subject, uh, on the subject trolls four will eventually come out. It, def it definitely will exist. I'm I'm convinced of that. Um, but it, it might not be for a while. It might not be for maybe a, a few years. Um, because uh, as I say, I've been doing this work quite intensively, and I don't want to just like rush through the series for the sake of doing more of the series. I want to allow the ideas to percolate a bit um, with uh, with the subsequent troll stories because they, you know, I think they are best when I spend a while contemplating them. Um, this does lead to the somewhat ludicrous scenario, which is that actually two of the stories in Otsot 4 are already finished. <laughs> I finished them like months ago at this point, because um, there's just the, the you know, flash of inspiration came, I just wrote the whole thing. Um, so two of the stories are already done, and it, it, it you know, it, Quite possibly, I, you know, it might, it might only be in the next few months that I have flashes of inspiration for the next few. And there might be four of the stories in there exist for quite a while without the book coming out. So there will be this ludicrous scenario of the stories existing for potentially years <laughs> um, before they actually get released. In many ways, it's a great shame because the, the second story in Otsot 4 is, I, think re I really like it. It's a lie. And I, I, think, I think other people will as well. I think um, people will really enjoy that one. Uh, so I, so I don't know, maybe at some point I'll just decide to push for it and, and publish it. But it's, it's not definitely the one coming out next time. We're probably going to do some different things. Um, but that's it. Um, on the subject of Trolls 3, yet more on the subject of Trolls, has been released. It's now available. As I say, the, uh, the link uh, for where you can buy it is down um, in the description. I think it's, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a really good book. I think it's, it's a lot of fun and very interesting. So go and have a look at that. And maybe I'll see you in another video in a week, or maybe not. Who knows? There is no schedule um, because there's, there's no point in me trying to stick to a schedule. Um, but so maybe I'll see you in a week, in a month. Who knows? Who knows? I certainly don't.